Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. I have re-entered the simulation without resetting it as Riley Yu. So I'm going to try, without resetting the simulation, to complete Riley's objective because when we played as VJ, I managed to scan a weaver, which allowed me to be able to get, um, during this run anyway, gives me the ability to get the neuro mod Phantom Genesis 2 with Riley Yu. Which is what I need to unlock the story objective for Riley. Gotta do this to be able to upload our consciousness. I'm not sure if it's simply I do this and then I'm pretty much done or if there's some other steps. But definitely need to do this. And as long as I get it once, I'll have it forever. Even between resets. So I want to try to get this before I reset the simulation. Requires four neural mods, so that's basically my goal right now is just go find neural mods. I could have done that by just actually buying neural mods in the loadout. But I didn't know how many I needed for this. Plus, I want to save my space bucks for the other characters that don't really have any neural mods at all. Like the first character I played as, I have not played as them again. Um, I probably found a couple of neural mods, but they're mostly unupgraded. So I want to buy a bunch to kind of boost them up to be a lot better than they are currently. Because they're kind of a... I mean, there's no levels, but essentially they're low leveled compared to the other characters that I've played as. And, uh, and also Claire Witten. Also has absolutely no neural mods at all, so I want to boost them as well when I first plays them by a bunch of neural mods. And also, we are kind of pretty far through corruption level four, so I don't want to put too much money into this run because I might die. So let's go find some neural mods. Okay, we got a slight problem here. There's a moon shark that just popped up, and also at the same time, I'm being attacked by other things. If I don't move, the moon shark will disappear. If I do move, it'll attack me, but I might be able to get away from the other things. Um, hmm. That's a problem. Wiry. Position requested. Sensor report positive. Sensor report positive. Sensor report positive. Detected. Sensor report positive. Oh no. I was trying to kill everything around this gate so that it would open up, only to find that when I tried to open it, I am a Typhon. I forgot, if you get so many Typhon mods, at a certain point, you are detected as a Typhon. Shit. Okay. Um. Hmm. I. How do I get into a place then. I could go into one of the places that doesn't have power, because since it doesn't have power, the gate isn't powered, but then I probably can't move very far within that place, right? Because nothing's really going to open. Inspector, your suit suffered some wear and tear. I'll fix that. Job done. No! <gasps> oh! It tricked me. A tourist? Tourist? Shot you full of holes. Tourist? Anyway, um, I was thinking that the turret might try to kill me because I'm considered a Typhon, but I walked right in front of it, really close to it, and it didn't do anything, so I thought I was fine, but I guess I was too close to it and it didn't really get a chance to scan me, because when I walked really in front of it, yep, yep, and my Psy abilities do not work on non-biological opponents, and I had no guns. So there's, like, nothing I could do. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't spend too much on that. That was a learning experience. Vital signs critical. This is surprisingly hard. I really have to think about the world in a whole new way now that I can't go through the gates, which is really interesting. So one way I think I can go is this is the central tower in the center of the crater. And there's a entryway to Pythias Labs from here. I don't actually remember ever going this way, but if that can get me inside of Pythias Labs, which is where I need to go, pretty much, I think, 
yeah, I don't necessarily need to go there right now, but to upload my consciousness, I'm eventually going to have to go here. Plus, I know that uh, Riley's office has a bunch of neuromods, enough to get the Phantom Genesis 2 ability. And it also has Typhon Containment, which will probably have a Weaver that I need to scan, so pretty much I need to go here. Thankfully, the turret it was already broken since I arrived here, so it's not going to shoot me, but I really need to keep an eye out for security measures that might try to kill me. Normally, they are my friends. Now, they're not. Ooh. I already found an elite shotgun, but this one... This one ha nullifies the target's psionic abilities. Oh, it's even better. It's got the pistons. Yeah. Right. This is caved in. That's why I've never gone here. I'm wondering if I could maybe take this cave in out with a recycler charge. I feel like there's got to be some way to deal with this. And that's the only thing I can think of. Unfortunately, I don't have a recycler charge. Please stand clear of altitude. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Oh. I know why that's repaired now. Okay. It's repaired because I made an engineer drone thingy. Where, where did you go? There you are. As much as I appreciate you, they apparently repair turrets. So let's um, let's maybe just like put this in here. Just yeah. There we go. <laughs> Just get it out of here. Well, let me go look for a recycler. I thought there was a poltergeist for a second. Because that thing just flew up. I think the engineering operator just bumped into it. Also, there's apparently enemies up there that have reacted to the turret. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, let me go up to the command center and see if there's a recycler charge up here. Oh, shit. Hmm, well, none of my abilities are gonna help with this. Oh, fire, right next to an explosive. Hmm. Yeah, just... Just get that out of here. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was a great idea. Yeah. Like, makes sense why that would do that, actually. It really does make sense. You suddenly jerk the thing downwards as if you threw it really hard. Yeah. Aha! Little jump backwards, jump forwards thing, and now I am on top of the center tower. I don't know if there's anything up. Oh, hello. Albert Leeds, an elite Huntress Boltcaster. What does it do exactly? Plus 10 electrical damage. Wow. I wonder where that little pathway leads. That little duct. What? What are you doing up here? And what's that symbol? Max weapon durability increased by 50%. The Everlasting Disruptor Stun Gun Standard. Okay, some neat stuff up here. I'm Solar glad I checked. In progress. Also, just a really cool view. Love that gold foil. Or whatever it is. Oh. I could easily get into there from inside. That'd be easier than going the route I did. Optimizer, what is that? Reduces the psi cost of energy, morph, and telepathic powers. Hmm. Advanced silent silence pistol. Yeah, definitely worth coming in here to grab some quick supplies. Some good stuff. A lot of really good equipment. 
Unfortunately, I still don't have a recycler charge. Actually, maybe I can... I don't have the stuff to make anything yet, but if I recycle some stuff, I maybe could. What do I need? Uh, I need one orange thing and then one more metal or material or whatever. Recycled enough material to make one recycler charge. Please work. I'd be kind of surprised if this did, but you never know. Okay, then. This is so tempting. Maybe, maybe once you progress to a certain part, maybe this will just open up naturally as the simulation becomes more accurate and more dangerous, of course. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess... I guess I'm going to disable the power so that I can get through the gate, and we'll see what I can do once I'm inside. I'm at the very tip-top of the dish up here, the highest point possible to get to, I think. So I've disabled the power in the Pythias Labs. I don't know how useful the Pythias Labs are going to be with no power, but, uh... Crap. Oop, there we go. Let's go see. Ooh, I'm not going to make it. Come after me all you want. I hope I can sprint faster than it can come. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, we got radiation. Weirdly enough, I'm not getting any sickness from it. I guess it's well contained. All right, the doors aren't gonna work, right? Yeah, shit. I need to scan you. Weaver, come closer. I do need to scan you, right? No? I thought scans and unlocked abilities reset between runs. I guess they don't? Okay. Well, that's good. That's great, actually. Now I just need a bunch of neuro mods. Again, the question is can I find them? Because I'm not going to be able to really move very much. I hate it when I hear that noise and I don't know what saw me. Ooh. God, look at how atmospheric it is when you have emergency lighting. Kablamo. This ability, it's so good and so powerful now that it's all the way upgraded. Oh, hi. Yeah, so I can't get in any of these. And this isn't glass, so I can't even break in. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Okay. We're fine. Ah. I see the green on this little thing, and I think, oh, it's open. I can just go in. Nope. I really don't know how useful this is going to be. I, I'm barely going to be able to go anywhere. Narrow mods? Oh. Oh, bless the level designer who put this little sticky note on this, uh, this Typhon gate control panel. TC, pro tip for you, I got stuck on the wrong side of a Typhon gate the other day. Phantom almost ate my ass until I figured out I could zap the sensor with my stun gun. I guess we should tell engineering, but then they'd fix it. I think it might have said something about 
that sort of thing like uh, you could electrically interfere with the typhon gates when i first encountered them at the beginning of the game in the little tutorial i vaguely remember something about that but i entirely forgot it thank you thank you very much wow all right let's try this out oh that is beautiful oh that is so beautiful that's, I mean, obviously I basically have to do that right now when I'm playing as this character who's considered a Typhon. But even other times, that would have really helped being able to just zap that and run in instead of having to kill all the Typhons around the gate. Requesting new operator. I gotta be on the lookout for live turrets. Transfer civil 495 science class. Oh my god. Ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. What the hell is this stuff? It's like a pile of goo and it's moving. That's gross. Let's try to get to executive level. I don't think there's any narrow mods down here. At least none that I know of. Up to executive. I tried to climb this shaft prior with no glue cannon and no power. I could get a couple rungs up, but then it's like the distance, like the spacing between these these rings here. It's like it changed because I wasn't able to grab the next one up. Okay, that's weird. Why can't I target the center piece? Do the tentacles have to be inside? <laughs> Tentacle nest is getting activated all the time by the mimics scurrying around, I think. I saw like something pop up. For a second. Weird. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tentacle Nest is honestly terrifying. It's really cool the way it works. I need to take care of the Mimics or it's just going to keep getting activated. There's some good stuff in here. Wow. Two Elite Shotguns and um, there's also a Artex Propulsion Gen 1 Elite. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's a chipset? Increase the Artex Propulsion System's glide speed and adds an explosive ground slam. Press control while airborne to activate. Holy hell. I really do like all my current things though. They're all psi related things. Uh, um, I guess aggressor increases the damage of all psi attacks. I mean, it's pretty good, but the rest are also really good. I gotta try this thing out. Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with my office? The fuck happened in here? Uh, hmm. How many recycler charges do I have? Two. I should use those to try to clean this up, right? Oh, shit. Where is it? Is there another one? Oh, over there. Also, there's a puddle. I suppose that doesn't help. I want I want these materials. Give me the mats. Okay, we got a couple new mods here. We got a bunch here. Yeah, okay. I can now get the ability that I need. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so nasty in here. I love how it changes so dramatically. Okay, Phantom Genesis 2. That's not the right one. I should probably spend the rest of my narrow mods just to make sure they don't go to waste. Let's get Stealth 1. Not that I try to be stealthy very often, but it'd be nice to be stealthier. Okay. 
Uh, did the quest update, by the way? Oh, I need to check my email. Okay. Oh, but just communication channel with Alex. We gotta do that again. Okay. Create a phantom out of volunteer blah blah blah. Scan it with your psychoscope. Oh. Oh, that is creepy. Okay, so that's what I need to do now. Well, I assume that they would be down in volunteer um, containment chambers. So I guess I'll head back down there. Holy crap, Thermal Mimic just came running out of there. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to use my, uh, like, ground slam special ability for the first time. I don't know if it was working. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Maybe we need more distance off the ground. Oh. Wait, what the- what the hell just happened? Huh? Yeah, I think that is it. Hmm. I guess you just have to really, really be on top of your enemy. Hope it does a lot of damage, or it's not really worth it. Putting yourself in a lot of danger. Right, so we need to turn this volunteer. Had to look at the at the computer down here at the bottom of the Pythias Labs to convert the job title slash the volunteer name, serial code, whatever. To their actual name, Oleg Botolov. They're in the crew annex, and now I'm tracking them. So we're gonna have to head there, unfortunately. But while I'm here, I unlocked crew number three, which has some neuro mods. I did not mean to pick up the entire bed. Let's put my neuro mods on Mindjack 2. So same as the first one, just lasts for 40 seconds instead of 20 seconds. And I suppose let's get fear resistance. Reduces duration of fear effects by 25%. Okay, Oleg is somewhere up. No typhon detected. Uh-oh. Gonna have to do some mind jacking here. Not protected anymore, are you? Wherever you are, I don't actually know where it is. Where is it? Anyway. Oh, you can't use Psy abilities when they're camouflaged. Dang. Jesus. Hello, Oleg. We seem safe. Here we go. Are they attacking me? Oh. Oh, they're attacking me. That's... Hmm, they're supposed to be my friend, aren't they? Um, what's my objective? Can I just kill them? Oh, we need to scan it. What if I kill it? If I just kill it without scanning it, I guess you just fail, right? Now we're done, and we can go back, which is good, because uh, everything is burning, and I'm actually almost dead. Hmm. That's a big problem. 
Yeah. Hmm. I've got stuff for burn drama. Skin grafts? Yes. Oh, oh, that was close. Did it, did it break my shotgun? Yeah, shit. Man, burning just wrecks everything. Wrecks your suit, gives you burn trauma. I burn trauma again. Wrecks your weapon. Oh god. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. No wave transmitter. That should be fine, right? I have 17 Typhons, Force. Nice. Please don't eat me. Okay. Hello. I think I finally made it. It took a long time. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your mental resources are That should help you concentrate. Yes. It's okay to lower launcher. Before you launch that operator, I need you to take one last precaution. Please, no. You have the emulation tech Morgan was tinkering with. Use it. Copy yourself. I know it seems morbid, but we can't shrink from the reality that you might not make it off the moon. This will ensure at least something is left of our family. No one else is equipped to deal with what's coming. I'm putting Talos One in the dark after this. You won't be able to reach me. Hopefully, we'll see each other Earthside. Goodbye, cousin. Hello. That's a good idea. Procedure. Personality capture and emulation. Source, Wiley Yu, Pythius Facility Director. Target, Minerva 465, Data Vault Class Operator. Capture and transfer complete. Additional instructions found. Starting procedure, erase you dot bat. Destroying source subject. <laughs> Wow. Well, I guess I sort of escaped. <laughs> Congratulations, you escaped, sort of, by emulating your consciousness. Remember, successive escapes, yep, yep, yep. Pile of points is always very satisfying. Okay. Well, why? Why is everything so blurry? Why is everything blurry? Weird. Probably just a visual bug. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I feel very satisfied now that I finally unlocked the story objective for Riley Yu. Very cool. So, who put that in place to destroy Riley after uploading their consciousness? I mean, was that Alex? Or what? Obviously, Riley did not expect that. And wasn't anticipating that, and would certainly not have done that if they knew they were going to die. I mean, the way Alex posted was, Hey, we'll have two copies of you, right? Just in case you don't make it off the moon. What's the point of that, though? Like, who gains anything from, from that? What's the bad part? Like, what's the downside of having the original Riley and then just a backup copy of Riley? I don't know. Maybe we'll learn more about that when we do the story objective that we've now unlocked for Riley U. So, gonna end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, 
I'm not sure who I'm going to play as. <laughs>